everyone a very warm welcome to ws cube tech so guys in our previous session we have covered that what is line plot in our matplotlib we learned how to plot it and in our today's session we will be talking about what are legends how to work with the legend so basically we have seen we have we know what are legends but today we will be learning about how to work with them so guys with legends also we can apply so many methods like we can change their location we can give the line spacing we can give the number of columns we can change their location if, if it should be inside the box or out outside the box so all these things could be done with the help of the legend so let's have a look on how it can be done so before moving ahead with our jupyter notebook i would like to talk about the locations like there are different locations and in which the legends can be placed let's have a look on what all locations do we have over here so i have a table over here which tells us different locations so first of all we have let's let's assume that this is our graph over here okay best will give us the best suitable location that means zero will give us the best su best suitable location upper left will give us that means two will give us over here three will give us that is lower left over here Four will give us over here. Five says right. Right could be anywhere in the center, mostly center. And then we have center left. Center left would be six here. Then center right again would be somewhere here. Okay. Lower center would be eight, and upper center would give you a legend over here. And center that means ten will give you a legend in the center of the graph. So this is how the locations works basically inside our graphs now let's apply them in the jupyter notebook as well so first of all to get a legend over here let's plot over here for that i'll be importing all our libraries so import matplotlib.py plot as plt and then let's import numpy as np once i have imported both of them i'll be creating a uh, line plots over here for that we need some lines so i'll be just creating uh, let's say a1 a1 is equals to np dot array and here i'll be just passing some elements 10 comma 38 comma 60 comma 40 comma 23 comma 56 and then let's let me just create another two of them or let me just create with one let's start with one only okay after this, we have to plot a line plot. So plt dot plot. To plot a line plot, we just write plt dot plot. And over here, we'll pass a1. A1. We'll write plt dot show. Open close the parentheses. So this is how our line plot looks like. And if you want to show the legend, you will be writing plt dot legend. Open close the parentheses. And if you want to show a legend over here, let's call. Let's give it a label. So I'll give label is equals to. And this is let's say first line. Okay. And here I'll be writing plt dot legend open close the parentheses so you can now see i have a, a first line that means i have a legend over here so default value or the best location over here let's say is this one okay similarly if i want to change its location what i'll be doing i'll be simply writing over here loc is equals to let's put it two and as soon as i run it it will shift on the left hand side similarly if you want it in the center in that case we just have to write 10 so we'll get it in the center if you want over here we'll be writing six so it would give us left center basically and if i write 7 it will give it to me right center 8 would give me lower center and here we have it in the lower center the 5 would give us in the right again so 5 and let's say the 7 works the same way that they are on the right hand side okay so whatever location you like you can write it over here if you write 0 it will give you the best location so the best location over here is the top right okay similarly suppose if we have more of them suppose we have a plt dot plot and for that let's create more of them so i'll be creating another line a2 and a2 is equals to np dot array and here i'll be passing some elements for example i'll be writing 30 comma 20 comma 45 comma 89 comma 56 comma 23 and similarly i'll be creating a3 as well so a3 is equals to np dot array and here i'll be passing 50 comma 40 comma 30 comma 40 comma 30 comma 50 comma and that's it okay once we are done with this we'll be writing a2 here a2 comma label label would be our uh, let's say second line we'll be giving it the name as second line and the third one would be obviously the third line so plt dot plot and here i'll be passing a3 comma label is equals to third line let's run and see what output we'll get so now we have three lines and here our legend have shifted now there are more functions to the legend let's press control tab and see all the legends functions so uh, we over here have legend handles legend labels and labels over here okay now we have different functions over here for example if you want to change the font size over here so what you can do you can write font size is equals to let's put it 17 and as soon as i run it you can see the font size of this legend have increased if you want to give any other labels to it you can give any others label for example you want to give a1 a2 and a3 over here you can write a1 comma and 
should be inside the format of a list and a2 comma a3 and let's close the list over here let's put the comma and let's run it so now the name of the lines are a1 a2 and a3 and here we have them with the different font sizes over here similarly there is another function that is called as label spacing so if you want to give a space between the labels so you can give a label spacing over here by writing label spacing is equals to let's keep it three and you can see there is a space there's a space between the label labels over here let's reduce the size to let's say 10 and as soon as i run it now this is how it looks like so you can give the spacing between the labels you can provide with the number of rows and columns as well so let's have a look on how we can up provide it with the rows and columns as well so for this i'll just copy this data from here and paste it over here and let's create one more line so i'll be creating a4 as well so a4 is equals to np dot array because i want to put them in the two columns so that's why i'm just creating one more line and i'll just give the random data over here once we have given the data let's plot it as well so plt dot plot and here i'll be passing a4 comma label is equals to fourth line we have fourth line here and we'll be writing plt dot show open close the parenthesis before that let's plot the legend so plt dot legend and if I run it, this is how it looks like right now. Okay, we have first line, second line, third line, fourth line. Right. But suppose if I want them in a format of a column over here, what I can do, I can first of all give them a name that is A1, comma, A2. Or if you don't want to give the name, you can, if you want the same names, you can keep the same names as well. The choice is totally up to you. And here I'll be passing A4. Then after this, we'll be writing N call. That means number of columns that we want over here is two. So we want two columns over here. Now invalid syntax N colon is equal to. So I forgot the is equal to over here. And as soon as we run it, you can see now it has been converted into two columns. So we have two columns right now. If I had three columns in that case, it would have looked like this. That we have first column, which has two values. Then second column has only one value. Third column has only one value again. That means in the first column, we have two rows here and if you want four columns out of it then we can get four columns as well so this is how we can get four columns then it would change the location and if you want to define a particular location like right now it is giving the best location but if you want to define a particular location you can define the location as well and you can give the number of columns that you want so as soon as i run it so here i'm getting the number of columns again you can apply all the other methods over here for example the line spacing the font size and the location Right. Similarly, if you have this data, suppose this data is right now coming inside. If you want this data to come outside, in that case, what we can do, we can just, uh, I'll just copy this whole data from here. Let's paste it here and let's write plt.show. Over here, what we'll be doing, we will be using the method of bbox to anchor. That means this method allows us to write the data wherever we want to write. Like me, That means we can shift the location over here and we'll be shifting the location outside the box over here. So it will take two parameters with us. So let's write instead of this. I'll just remove this. Now to give the legend over here, we'll be writing plt.legend. And here what we'll be doing, we don't want to change the labels, let's say. So here what I'll be changing, I'll be just changing the bbox to anchor. So bbox underscore to underscore anchor. bbox to anchor would be equal to a tuple value over here. And let's keep it 0 0.8 comma 1.2. It gives us the left and right dimensions over here that how much left and how much right you want over here. After this, you can provide with a number of columns. So n call is equal to 2. So 2 number of columns should be 2 over here. As soon as I run it, it says there is some uh, error over here. Okay, the error is that I have used a hyphen over here. We need to use the underscore. Okay, this is how it looks like. So uh, you can now see that it is outside and if i shift it a little bit for example if i write it zero point it would come from uh, it would shift towards the left and if i change it uh, this one to zero uh, 1.0 it will shift a little bit bottom over here if i shift it if i keep it 1.0 it goes over here like this but at the same time if i keep it as 1.2 but shift this one as 0 0.5 the x the y-axis would change it will shift towards a little bit bottom and i'll keep it zero it will shift towards a bit bottom so this is how it changes so you, you need to uh, you know figure out that where you're going to put it so you can uh, for me the idle would be 0 0.8 over here and 1.2 here so if i run it this is how the legends look like okay so i hope guys that legends over here are clear to you that how we have created legends how we can define the locations the font size the label spacing and after that if you want to give the number of columns you can provide with the number of columns you can also define that if we want the legends outside the box or we want it inside the box as well by giving bbox to anchor
So I hope you guys have no doubts and no questions in this session. In our next session, we are going to start with the histogram plot. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.